Episode 3, Out of Nowhere, here we go. This is Out of Nowhere, an off-the-grid travel guide about adventuring, living life, and jumping off of big cliffs. This week is a little bit different. We are going to one of the coolest places that I've ever been to, and I'm not going to tell you so much about it, but I'm going to let the story tell itself, because this week it got interesting. Ready for this? Should I act normal? No. Or should I act like you're taking a picture? Act whatever you want to act, bro. All right. It's donut. Please, isn't there one where you have an extra though? In your next video. It's donut time. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. The TV. This looks so good. Mm. Oh baby. I'm making love to this donut. <laughs> Oh. We had to hop in the car, drive an hour and 38 minutes to uh, the Beckett Land Trust and Historical Quarry, I think it's called. Another stone quarry that's filled up with water, so that means it's super deep, it's like 70 feet deep. That's not how it works. I mean, <laughs> a lot of places like these try to dissuade people from coming in and doing what they're meant for. Um, <laughs> Dude, it's not, it's not even high, it's just like, there could be a rod. I don't want to be the one that impales myself. I want you to be the one that impales <laughs> Same. <laughs> yeah! Send it? Okay, Full here we send. go. Full send! There's essentially a, an unlimited amount of places to jump. Um, the water is infinitely deep. It's a type of place that makes you feel limitless. This is scary. I'm scared. Woo! Oh my god, this is so scary. But today made me really think about why I started doing this series. It has a lot to do with facing fears. It has a lot to do with challenging myself to do something with a degree of calculated risk. Oh my god, what is that crow? 
I don't have to prove anything to anybody. You don't. But you're already up there. You might as well prove it to yourself if you want. It's now on. Right. Okay. This camera's recording me. This camera's recording me. Okay. Once I throw these rocks in, I have like 30 seconds to do this if I'm ever going to do it. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen because I need to break up the water. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself. Okay. Sometimes in life, you have to do something that has a little bit of calculated risk. Okay? Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Yesterday you said tomorrow. Yesterday you said tomorrow. So just do it, Kyle. Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. One jump, more. Jump, I got one jump, more coming. Jump, I got jump, one more coming. Jump. I got one more. Kyle! Hold up. Here we go. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go! <clears throat> so I just slammed my back uh, because I made a commitment to myself that I was going to do a front or a back flip. I wanted to do a back flip. In reality, it would have been safe because I had a ledge, I had somewhere to jump from, <clears throat> and nothing underneath. I wasn't really into it, and I decided to go down a little bit lower and go for a flip it's easier for me to get into. Never do something if you're not fully committed to it, especially if there's risk involved. If you think it's not a good idea, then you probably shouldn't go for it unless you can convince yourself that, uh, that it's a good idea. And then my camera screen broke. Luckily it still works. I mean, it, it didn't break, it just shattered, but... Or I could just go. That's a lot of damage. No, that's a lot of damage! So, I think the world is telling us that it's time to go. Oh. There's, a, there's another quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson that is uh, something like, All life is an experiment. The more experiments you make, the better. Sometimes you gotta get hit uh, to realize the value of your safety and the value of living life to the fullest. But here's the moral of the story. Beckett Quarry is an awesome place to go if you want to get some cliff jumping in. Okay, I'll see you next week on Out of Nowhere. I gotta go to sleep at some point, so. Plus if there is a rod that we missed, I want you to hit it. Why would you say that? <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> Hey Mike, your disappointment. Hey Mike. Hey Mike. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>